everybody, Mike Osman with Taylor Guitars, and I'm hanging out along with Quaid, and in my hands is the stunning, the beautiful, the very popular Taylor 224 CE Deluxe. Now, obviously, lots of people like to buy acoustic guitars, but I think what they do is they buy them with their eyes first, and then they grab the guitar and go, gosh, I hope this sounds as good as it looks. And then at some point, they have to figure out how they're going to pay for it. But with Koa, it's one of those things that just has a very different visual experience, along with a very different sonic experience than most other guitars they come into contact with. All right, so let's talk about Koa for a second. In my opinion, the difference between things in this world that are good and great is the story that we tell. And the story that we tell with Koa is that we really make more Koa guitars than almost any other company on the planet. It's one of our bread and butters. It's a pride and joy. Bob Taylor and the, and the Taylor Guitar Company, we own hundreds of acres uh, on one of the Hawaiian islands where we're growing Koa because Hawaii actually has all 11 temperate zones within the islands. So you can almost grow any vegetation around the world in one spot. So for now, Koa, we have this insatiable appetite for it because our customers love the way it looks, they're looking for variety, um, but they also want that kind of sonic escape from the traditional pairings, the rosewoods, the mahoganies, the maples of the world, okay? So what does Koa sound like? Well, let's talk a little bit visually about uh, EQ. We have bass on one side, and we have treble on the other, you know, Rosewood has that real big kind of big foot sound, that massive sonic footprint, okay? Um, mahogany sits nice and tight in the center. Maple kind of lives up in here and has that brighter, crispier, uh, very quick decay and, and, and fast attack. Well, Koa is very unusual, and it's almost like Mahogany and Maple fell in love uh, they gave birth to this beautiful baby they named Koa. But as Koa ages, it acts like it kind of hung out with the Rosewood kids. And it starts to gather this low-end response. Now, lots of acoustic players know that when you play your guitar, uh, over time it opens up and it gets louder. Uh, but it doesn't actually change in, in the complexity of its voice, right? We know the wood ages, it dries, the sap and the water and the oils, they dissipate, or they, they evaporate, if you will. Uh, so the guitar gets lighter and more flexible. Think about your jeans. Like, what are they like on day one? What are they like three years in? All right? But with Koa, it starts to take on this very rich, velvety low end that people just start to kind of fall in love with. So... you've got a sound that's just so different and special compared to all the other guitars that are already in your collection and that's what makes Koa fit so nicely in an ensemble on a recording the other thing that it's great for is that it's a little bit denser than some of the other woods that we're traditionally used to so it's going to format well with female vocalists female vocal cords are typically tighter than men's so they can have a higher range on their voice well now you've got a guitar like maple that will kind of respond to that range and kind of match that singer's voice a little bit more appropriately. If I'm a worship leader, or if I'm playing in a very loud uh, rock band or a, a live ensemble, if you will, uh, this kind of concept can actually stand right out in front of that mix. So I don't have to uh, acutely attack my EQ, I just have a voice that fits an application and allows the guitar to kind of express itself, okay? now. With the 200 Series Deluxe, it has some very special attributes that you need to know about. Obviously, you can see this very, very nice looking Koa top. I'm going to flip this around for you. It has a Koa veneer on the back and sides, uh, so you'll get a chance to showcase Koa all the way around, which is really important. The other thing is that it gets the three-dimensional grain pattern, that very flamboyant medullary ray. There's a 50 cent word for you. So that variegation in the top, that east to west moving grain, really stands up with the gloss top. And then we put a shaded edge burst around it to kind of maximize the glow of that Koa hue, all right? 
Uh, diamond fingerboard inlays, which kind of sets aside its elegance a little bit. They all come in Taylor uh, hand-built hard shell cases, and they come equipped with our electronic system, the Expression System 2, as well as our cutaway. So you get access to all this upper end register should you want to move around the guitar. So just note that a 200 series deluxe packs quite a punch because you have all of these really nice aesthetic features. You're adding some of this exotic timber to the mix. You're getting some of the attributes of high-end models with the case and the high-end uh, electronics package. But overall, you're chasing a sound that now adds to the collection of guitars that you already have. Or it could be a great first guitar because of how fantastic it looks. So if you want to experience a Taylor 224C Deluxe, uh, go ahead, check out your local Long & McQuaid store. Go on longandmcquaid.com, read about it there, find your way into a store, and enjoy your experience because Koa is going to be unlike anything you've played, and it's going to look really nicely alongside your other guitars. So I invite you to try that. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.